I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Ultra for four days already and in this video guys I'm going to share with you my initial impressions on the battery life. Now something that is very important and you might not notice if you're not using Samsung products if you own a Samsung phone or let's say a Samsung watch like the Samsung watch Ultra or any other Samsung watch the first time you start using it straight out of the box the battery is going to need some time to learn and adapt so what is happening during these two three four days the phone is checking your type of usage what exactly are you doing how are you doing it and then it adapts and the whole idea is after this so-called calibration you should be able to get the best of the battery life now guys I'm doing this video because I want to share with you the first impression on the battery life because Samsung claimed in the release that you can get up to 48 hours in power saving exercise mode and up to 100 hours in power saving and 100 hours is a very good claim 48 hours is a very good claim the only issue that I have right now is that even after the calibration I'm getting you can see 19 hours already used and 23% of the battery, so another five hours. And the issue that I have is that after this calibration, right, and of course, right now my usage is higher than uh, usually, so it's not a modern usage. I'm using my watch very often because it's a brand new product and it's a good product and I really try to explore it. And I do a lot of videos, guys, here also on the channel, like setting up uh, the blood pressure with an external blood pressure monitor, like testing the heart rate, and also I was able to side load some applications to check the full device info. You can check my videos there and also I installed Telegram which is not available via the Play Store so for sure I'm using it a bit more as let's say I'm going to use it let's say in two three four months because I do plan to stick around with this watch for at least until the next one is there the next Ultra. It is a very nice product premium materials we have titanium grade 4 we have really this nice design right. anyway what is important right now in this video and why i'm doing this video not only to show the battery but a lot of you asked about sleep tracking so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to start samsung health and with samsung health i'm going to show you what the watch is doing now have in mind right now i'm only getting something like 24 26 hours which honestly is not enough for me i used to wear garmin smartwatches I used to wear Huawei smartwatches so I had to charge them like five seven each ten days and I understand a lot of you are gonna say hey you know like you are not using all these options and this and that but this is not so correct because on the Huawei watch GD2 which is actually not a real smartwatch like I called it is more like a glorified uh, smart band right because it doesn't really have the option to install apps I was getting a very very good battery life and first things first I want to give you more context so while I'm in the settings of the watch I want to show you what I'm using it for when I'm sleeping because even when I'm sleeping guys this watch is working so when I click here sleep you can see that I am using the SpO2 or the blood oxygen during sleep I don't use the snow detection because this requires you to also place the phone near your head and etc I don't want this I usually sleep in a room where the phone is not with me and I'm also measuring guys the skin temperature during sleep during the day I'm using it with manual stress which means that I'm not measuring any stress levels and I'm using the heart rate every 10 minutes right so I'm not even using the first option which is to measure it non-stop and then of course you have a more relaxed option manual only right and also something very very important guys I don't use the always on display okay because if I use the always on display I have a feeling that I'm gonna get even lower than 26 hours and why is this so important because when I go inside the Samsung Health guys I am able to show you all these things inside all right so for example yesterday I went to bed quite early uh, compared to my usual bedtime so I slept for 8 hours and 50 minutes my sleep score is 97 which is excellent when you see an error like this you can click right and then you can get this comparison so 24 points higher than the average for your age group what is a good sleep score so basically the Samsung health is a very nice and powerful health tracker and health application and it is for free Right, this is very important. Then we have the sleep score factors, we have sleep time, we have physical recovery, we have the restfulness, the mental recovery, the sleep cycles. For all of those, right, like every time you see an arrow like this, you can go inside and you can check sleep time good, right? The phone is giving you an analysis, physical recovery is good, restfulness is good, the mental recovery is good, and you can check here REM, awake, light, deep. And this is really, really good. Also, the sleep cycles are good. But please have in mind that this can differ from the readings that you're going to get from a more professional sleep tracker. Because right now, there are a lot of videos out there 
from people that are really testing this scientifically, right? So you can go and check these videos there. There are really some great stuff out there. We have something called the energy score and the energy score is coming for the first time on Samsung smartwatch. It takes a lot of parameters like the sleep and the activity and it does a combination of those and it gives you this energy score. So right now guys, see my sleep is compromised. Did you drink too much alcohol or have a midnight snack? It's better to avoid alcohol and late night eating before bed. They reduce the REM sleep and sleeping HRV, which are important for sleep quality and feeling rested for the day. So the good thing here is you can click inside and you can check this energy score for your previous day. So the first time I used the watch, right, because I just bought it, put it in my hand, I was not active enough for the watch to know. And you can check the energy score factors. The sleep time average, the sleep time consistency, the bed wake time consistency, sleep timing, previous day activity, sleeping HR, attention. So when you see attention, you can click and you can really understand, okay, what is happening here? So the previous day I was active 94 minutes. Usually I'm active from 132 to 228, all right? So it's, it's actually very good. Then we have, of course, also some other things. In that case, it was the sleeping heart rate, okay? Uh, it's really got a good fun. Good. Then we have also the sleeping HR. It measured some values that were not so good. Everything else seems to be quite okay. But the thing is that it combines these factors into this score, right? And if you want to get more information, you can click here and you can read there is tons of information. What is the energy score? How exactly it does work? So again, it takes data from the Galaxy Watch. It synchronizes it with a Samsung help, calculates the score, and this score helps you to understand where you are. Some people wanted me to show more about the sleep. So here it is. Again, we have the sleep time. We have the sleep score factors, we have the sleep stages, right? And I like really the way it's displayed, like I've been awake for a half an hour, REM two hours, right? Then we have the light sleep and then we have the deep sleep here. This here is the typical range. The blood oxygen during sleep. A lot of people are telling me, hey, listen, you don't need this during sleep. And if I am to turn this off, I will probably get even more better. But right now I want to use every standard setting. So I took the watch out of the box, put it in my hand, customize it a little bit. But right now those are the standard settings. And I'm also, of course, measuring the skin temperature during sleep. So highest temp 36.4, lowest temp 34.12. All right. If I am to get rid of those things, I might get a bit more of battery. Here we have the heart rate. And guys, when you click inside again, every time you see an arrow, you can click inside and you can get more information, all right? Uh, you can understand really what is happening. You can understand which things can affect this specific parameter. There is also something, guys, that drew my attention, the so-called age index. It seems to be a lab feature. So the age index can give you a sense of your metabolic health, which reflects your overall biological aging process and is strongly influenced by your diet and lifestyle. And your Galaxy Watch is measuring advanced glycation and products or ages. So this is actually this age thing stands for advanced glycation and products. Compounds that are developed naturally in your body when protein and fat molecules are oxidized by sugar molecules. All right. So if you want to know more about it, you can click here again. There is plenty of things for you to go and explore and read there. All right. And now guys, we come to the beginning of the video. What about the battery? And am I happy with this battery? So honestly, right now, my straight answer would be no, I'm not happy. I expected to get a bit more of the battery. And at the same time, I kind of knew that this is impossible because the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro has the exact same battery, 590 milliampere The screen is with a lower resolution and the brightness is lower. So the only thing that can save the Watch Ultra is actually the latest Exynos W1000 that is built on 300 millimeter process and uses a whole other setup, a big little setup. And I hope that this is gonna be energy efficient and that at some point I'm gonna get more battery. Right now, what is a bit weird is, for example, yesterday I went to bed, guys, and I listened for two songs, two songs and a half from Spotify. And this took me 4% of the battery. It is a lot, I think. And then we have Google Wallet, 10%. So yesterday, I think I used my watch to pay something like three, four times maybe, but 10% is still a lot. Samsung Health Monitor is 15% and I can get this. I had to calibrate it for the video, which means three measurements. And then I had to recalibrate it in the afternoon. But right now, guys, I am not really happy with the battery life that I'm getting because see here, I use it for already 20 hours without 30 minutes and I can get another five hours. So the watch right now 
right? It's doing like 24 to 25 hours. And now I know a lot of you are gonna ask me like, hey, VST, what about the exercises and etc. Tell me guys, why should I go outside, you know, in the 38 degrees and do all these exercises when I know I'm not getting a good battery life just with nothing, right? I'm just using the watch, right? Without any exercising in the last few days and I'm not getting a good battery life. So why do you think that I go outside, do some exercises, I'm gonna get better battery life? No. This is not gonna happen. The only thing, right, that can save the watch right now, maybe is this power saving. When you enable the power saving, right, you turn off the wake up gesture, you turn off the always on display, you turn off the Wi-Fi, and yes, I have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi running, you limit the CPU performance, the background network usage, the location and the syncing, and you also decrease the brightness and the screen timeout. And this maybe, maybe with this you can get up to the 48 hours that Samsung are claiming. There are also some other things here, like limit health features. When you use the power saving and you wanna limit the health features, no workout, auto detection, no high and low heart rate alerts, and then of course some other things in the background, for example, no blood oxygen measurement. So most probably power saving will get you more. But right now in the current state and after the adaptation, I'm not happy. I, a lot of you will say, listen, you need to wait for two weeks and etc. But the adaptation just finished guys and I'm still getting only 24 to 25 hours. And this is not, not so okay for me, right? With the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro after, of course, heavy fine tuning it, I was getting something like two days, which means at least 48 hours. So I kind of expect to get 48 hours here, right? And I'm gonna start testing exercises only when I know that I reached the battery peak in performance, so to say, sustained performance of a battery, meaning that I get like a battery for at least two days. Before that, it will not make any sense, but I was still able to show you some things like the energy score and the slip measuring and etc. And I really hope that you'll like this type of content. But if you want something specific or in particular, just ask me in the comments. You can ask me anything. And thank you so much for watching guys. VST over and bye.